G'day, I'm Wild Willy. Welcome to another edition of Wild Willy's Wild Outdoors. Out where I usually go out here, there's deer all around me. It's just, it's amazing. I must have spooked up about 30 of them. Anyways, I came out here today to do a little uh, test on my, uh, my some of my dehydrated stuff. I'm really stockpiling up and dehydrating a lot of meals. One, it's cheaper for interior camping to do it. You make your own meals. And two, just nice to have around just in case. So I'm out here today trying a couple recipes, see how they're going to cook on the little stove and see how things are. But while I'm out here today, I figure I'll try uh, the $2 emergency shelter from the dollar store. I mean, for 2 bucks, I don't think we're going to get too much out of this, but uh, we'll, we'll set it up anyways. I'm not expecting, uh, expecting, expecting the world of this thing, but for 2 bucks, we'll set it up and see how it looks and see how it acts anyways. They're calling for some heavy rains in a little bit and some, maybe some wet snow, so we'll see from there. But for now, let me get this thing set up and we'll take a look at it. Well, here's what $2 gets you. Uh, basically, it's a thin mylar, almost like an emergency space blanket. It took about, uh, I don't know, 5 minutes to set up, but there is a little bit of wind. And it made things like very hard trying to unfold this thing. Basically, what it is is a long tube, and you have to uh, comes with a, a piece of string, uh, which isn't very good, and it was tangled all the hell. Uh, it ain't the best quality either. But uh, basically, it's a tube, and you uh, draw the string across, put it through, draw draw it across, tie it off the two trees, and put rocks on the inside to. Uh, stabilize it and widen out the base now I don't know how much faith I'd put in this or not I mean it's gonna keep you dry and it's gonna keep the wind off you but uh, it's very uh, very flimsy I don't uh, don't think it'll hold up too good in any uh, any harsh weather that's for sure to me it's uh, two dollars and I don't know if I you know it's worth having or not I mean five minutes to put this up ten minutes I can build myself something a little more stable throw a top on top or whatever but uh, there's your two dollar uh, your two dollar emergency shelter now I feel like I'm uh, kinda like a baked potato in this thing it's uh, already as soon as you lie on it you gotta make sure the ground is uh, completely clean and clean already I went in here and I've already poked several holes in the bottom uh, it's not going to do a hell of a good job about keeping the dampness out of here, or keeping the cold out of your backside anyways, but I guess it's better than directly being in the elements, but uh, not too much better than that. It's uh, translucent in here, so you can see, it'll let light in, you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, you can see through this thing all the way around, um, how it does on reflecting heat in here, I'm not too sure, it might be okay, but... Anyways, I wouldn't put uh, too much stock in this thing. All right, in here, meal number one. What I did is uh, first I got some uh, uh, crushed tomatoes, strained tomatoes in a jar, just a plain tomato sauce, and I dehydrated that out. That's this red stuff here. Then in there, I put some. Uh, I got potato in there. I've got uh, celery in there, dried mushrooms, dried peppers, and some onion. And of course I added a little bit of seasoning in there, some salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic. So anyways, we're going to see how this goes first. Um, I'm looking at my meals, not only do they got to be tasty, but uh, they got to be packed full of nutrition here too. So we'll see. This is round one for the, uh, the homemade, I guess, soup concoction. Alright, you can see there I, I uh, drank out most of the tomato broth, but uh, everything came back phenomenal. The peppers are great, the potatoes are great, the, uh, the mushrooms, the celery, the onions all absorb nice. They got a nice flavor to them, real hearty meal here. And this is absolutely fantastic. This is probably the best soup uh, concoction I've made in a long time. I've been dehydrating for years and this is one of my, uh, probably my all time favorite right now. But uh, it is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to make a boatload more of this. Another great one is uh, dehydrated pineapple. Now, even if you backpack this, keep it in your fridge. It doesn't last too, too long. You're looking at maybe three months out of it. Uh, but it's great just as is. You get a nice sugar sugar boost out of it. it tastes great, but I'm going to put it into my, uh, into my tea once it finishes boiling here and let that soak up and maybe add some flavor to that. 
instead of just adding or carrying around packets of sugar. We'll see what this does. All right, I don't know uh, if any of you guys know what this is or not. Unfortunately, you can't get them here in Canada. A buddy of mine uh, picks them up at the dollar store over the over the river in Buffalo. Uh, this these things are great. I got these in all my kits now. Now that I got enough of them, they're absolutely indispensable. And what it is is I'll show you. This will help you not only with first aid and situations and different emergency situations, but it also the main reason for for this is to clean out this. Now all you do is you poke one of these out of the perforated packs, pour a little bit of water on it, and you're good to go. It's a magic towel. It expands to like 10 times the size, and they're perfect for either wiping your ass or cleaning out dishes, and they're totally biodegradable, or just throw them in the fire when you're done. I didn't bring my camera stand, I gotta do this by hand, but very simple. Just a little bit of water, you don't even need a lot. And then you just unravel it, and it's good to go. All this from one little towel, from one little little compressed towel. Just add some water, and they're great. They're very durable. You could use it a few of these if you had a, a few of them on you as a dressing, field dressing, or a dressing for a wound. But I use them to, uh, like I said, you can. They're so tall and they're so small. You just do them to wipe down your pots, or wipe your ass when you're out in the woods, or whatever you want. They're just an indispensable thing. I absolutely love these things and I recommend them for anyone in the kit. Well, as far as that shelter goes, it's uh, for two dollars. It does keep you dry. It rained pretty hot a few minutes ago. Kept the wind off me, kept the rain off me, and I guess that's uh, that's the basis of any shelter, anyways, to get you directly out of the elements. Um, for two dollars, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have it in your pack. It's a one-time use thing. And it's not too uh, durable, but I guess it would do in a pinch, like they say, any port in the storm. So, you know what? It's a toss of a coin whether I'd throw it in there. I mean, it's not much extra weight in your kit. And it is just a secondary uh, measure, just in case. So, anyways, that's up to you if you want to get one or not. I personally, I don't know if I will or not. We'll wait and see. But anyways, i got to get trucking before three horses tans my hide. And I best be getting on. So I appreciate you joining me for lunch today. Hope you learned something new. Hope you enjoyed what you've seen. And I gotta head out. So remember, it's not a question of if this shit hits a fan, it's a question of when. So be prepared.